Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review on the channel, and we finally have another 2023 diecast. There have only been two on this channel. We looked at the Chris Busher Fifth Third Bank paint scheme, which is really the same paint scheme as last year, but here is our first unique paint scheme from 2023. This is Ryan Blaney's 2023 Body Armor Sport Water. Ford Mustang for Penske Racing. What a fantastic car. And this car came out really early. I wasn't expecting this car to be out this early. They had metal chassis, 164, 124. So props to Penske Racing or Body Armor or whoever for getting this car produced this early on. Wow, that's really cool. This car ran at the Atlanta Super Speedway. As far back as I can remember this car. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really cool paint scheme for 2023. Uh, this is Body Armor's new special paint scheme because last year they had a special uh, flavor design at the Coke 600. Maybe they'll, they'll do that again this year or they'll, they will run this paint scheme. But it looks like a really cool car. Uh, so we're going to get this car out of the box. I mean, for being black, white, and red, which seems to be a very common color combination, it looks good on this paint scheme. So here it is out of the box, the Ryan Blaney 2023 Ford Mustang here. No, there is no new mold for the Mustangs. Still looks to be the same as it was last year, die-cast wise. Uh, but looking at this car, it looks really, really good. It is not just a black and white scheme. There is detail across this thing. And we're going to be taking a look at all those details in today's video. Uh, but I really, really like this car. This is probably one of my favorite Blaney cars from this year. And it's the first one to get made. How cool is that, you guys? So you got number 12. Got Ford. A uh, little Mustang symbol right there. You got Pennzoil Ford Body Armor Sport Water, which looks a little bit wavy. I don't know if it's supposed to be a little wavy. I don't know if you guys can tell. Maybe it's just because of the shape of the hood and all. Got the bottle of Body Armor Sport Water right there. You got the hood vents. Really, really big on this car. Once again, just like the Chris Busher. Uh, you got Ford Blaney. You got Sunoco Goodyear. The gray wheels. The really, really light gray wheels. You got NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR 75. You have number 12 right there, Ryan Blaney. Got Ford, PPG, Mazak, Dent Wizard, and Discount Tire. Got the Body Armor Edge, or the Body Armor Sport Water bottle right there. Body Armor Sport Water. And, God, what does this say right here? Cap something right there. I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that. You have Worth right there. You got Advanced Auto Parts. You got Dex Imaging right there. You got Wabash National and Menards. On the back, you have body armor right there. You got the Ford license plate with the 2023 registration sticker on there. You got number 12, a giant red kind of nicked up spoiler. I mean, look at a paint chip here and a paint chip here. And the car hasn't even been out of the box. It's been out of the box for under 15 minutes. Uh, you got nothing on the deck lid right there. You got Blaney and Snap-on right there. So time to look at the paint scheme of this. This is a, one of those paint schemes that has more detail than you would probably imagine. Uh, we're going to start with the numbers here. We got the red outline or the red fill-in with the black outline on the roof. And on the doors, you have the red outline with the black number fill-in right there. Looks like a sharp. This looks like an old school Ryan Newman paint scheme. I mean, back when he was in the 12 car. This looks like something he would have driven. That is really cool to kind of get those vibes from looking at these Blaney cars. They look really, really good. Um, so let's take a look at the paint scheme now. So when you look across it, you're going to have like these stripes with some gradients on there. You're going to start out with the front here and the stripes are going to be around the headlights. Really, really sharp. It almost looks like it has eyebrows, but it's going through the headlights. I think it just spikes up at the corners of the front right there. And then it spikes towards the front wheel well. And of course, you see a bit of shadowing going on right there. And that's, that shadow is going to be all across the stripes on this thing. Uh, you're going to see the black stripe go through the 12 and up into the windshield. Or not the windshield, the driver's side window right there towards the window net. Which, let's make sure that thing is attached. Let's make sure that thing isn't hanging like in the All-Star race. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, you have the little, uh, some more of the striping going on right there. Towards the lower contingencies right there. There's just a nice little shape to that stripe going across there straight across the rear wheel well towards the lower portion of the quarter panel the black stripe the really thin not super thin it's a little bit thick and a little bit thin but it's definitely just a stripe going
going across right there, wrapping towards the rear quarter panel and onto the back, which the taillights are cutting that off. But yeah, you guys, there are there is shadowing on this car. Uh, this side is the same as the other side. It's not a split paint job, but look at this. Look at the shadow to it. See that? That's really good. I gotta wait for my camera to focus on this car. You guys can probably already tell already, but yeah, really, really nice to see like extra detail on this car for being just white and black with a little bit of red. They made this work. I mean, they really, really made this work. This is really, really cool. The blue Goodyears look nice on this car. Good choice for the Goodyear color right there. And that's really it because the top of the car is just all plain white just with the sponsors and the numbers on it. Really, the main details of the paint scheme are on the side of the car, uh, as you can tell. Uh, really, really like it a lot. And it seems like the white they used within the boundaries of the stripes, like from here to here, just everything within that pattern seems to be a different sort of white it's like looks to be like the paint of the car is a different white i don't know if you guys can notice what i'm describing here but when you look at the hood and then you look at the side or just compare that white that's over the 12 compared to the white that's behind it you could definitely tell the shadows are really messing with the shade but that's actually part of the styling cues that's not a defect that's how the paint scheme looks uh, really, really cool. When you look close at it and you notice these little details it has. Of course, it got biofuel right there. I really like the big red spoiler. Would have been really cool if these cars still had colored splitters because you would have painted this all red here and it would have looked really good. But just with the red spoiler, it still looks nice. I mean, look at how sharp that looks. That looks so cool. And yeah, just really simple in the back here. Nothing much. But man, I just love the gradients and shadow use on this car. It just makes it look really nice. This car would have looked a lot more uh, plain had they not added those shadows and gradients. If this car didn't have any of that, it would have just looked plain. But because they went, and went for that detail, they went the extra mile to give it some nice looking shades. And it really makes it look like a more sharper car. It really does. I really, really like this car. Something about it. It just looks really good. So already guys a 360 view of it. Here's the front of the car right here. I think we can go back to normal if we want to. That's a little too far. There we go. So here's the front of the car right here. Once again, not a new mold. You can even see it's not a new mold. The headlights, I think the real life Mustang, the headlights are more towards the wheel well here. Whereas the older mold, the headlights are a bit more squished in but they did not update the decal package because you would have to move the headlight outlines a little more uh, to make it look like the newer Mustang so yeah they did change these cars in real life but once again not really that obvious of a difference so I can understand why Lina would not update the molds uh, for a lot of the cars so here's the front of it here's the hood right there which by the way this is going to change next year they're going to have a new front end of the Mustangs for 2024 uh, so pick this up while you can. So here's the hood of the car with the hood vents. I'm still not really that big on the hood vents on every car. Like for this paint scheme, for this paint scheme in particular, I like the hood vents. The way it looks on this car. Just not every car is going to look good with this. And that's kind of my thing with these hood vents. It just, it doesn't look the greatest on all the cars. I mean, this one looks good just because it's black and it has like the gray uh, shading like the rest of the car. I don't know, just not every car is going gonna, is gonna to look good with this. This is one of the few cars where it actually, I think it go, it kind of flows with the paint scheme, honestly. I actually do like that a lot. So, something I wanted to mention there. Here's the right side of the car. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Got a bit of uh, hair on the deck lid right there. Here's the roof. Here's the left side. And the chassis, 2023 Ford Mustang. That's how you guys are going to tell what uh, year your car is from looking under there. Uh, the black sides of the underbody also kind of go with this. It's not like the small teams where they wrap all the way down. I think if they did wrap all the way down, the stripes would have continued and it would have looked even cooler. 
But other than that, if you're a Ryan Blaney fan, get this car while you can. I feel like this is going to want to be one of those that sell out really quick early on because this is one of the cars that is actually a unique paint scheme that's been released this early on in the year, diecast wise. Uh, this is really the only different paint scheme. The Logano, the Cindric, and the Busher, and those type of cars didn't really change the paint schemes that much. This is one of the new, new paint schemes. So, I know Body Armor Sport Water did a lot of excellent marketing for this paint scheme and getting the die casts out and the merchandise and all that. So, props to Body Armor uh, for getting this car uh, to the Lana Racing Retail Store. And the other diecast dealers. Just getting this diecast produced. I mean, it's really, really refreshing to see a car, a new paint scheme like this, released this early on. So, yeah, guys, that has been the review of Ryan Blaney's 2023 Body Armor Sport Water Ford for Penske Racing. Really, really nice car. Uh, if you guys haven't gotten it, definitely can pick it up. I know these diecasts are up another dollar. Uh, so, yeah, you make decisions on what cars you want because they're more expensive this year. So... Yeah, guys, I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. We're going to try to get some more 2023 cars, but I'm going to be waiting for the newer paint schemes. I'm not going to be re-reviewing the discount tire paint scheme for the 700, 700th time. Uh, so, yeah, you're gonna, you guys are going to see more reviews on 2023. We just got to wait for some of the newer paint schemes, like maybe the Kyle Busch 8 cars. Those are definitely going to be new for this year. So this is really the only new paint scheme. So far, maybe there's another one that I don't know about yet, but really, really nice car. Really like it. Uh, it's simple, but it works. And the shadowing effects and the shades look super good. Makes it more than just a black and white car. So thank you all for checking out this diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next diecast review here on the channel. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts.